What's up, everyone? Good eyes, Matt with Squawk 1200. Mm, no, I can't do that. Hey, everyone, I'm Matt. Today, you're going to learn something. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to flash the current firmware onto your RXSR using your Tyrannus X9D. And all you're gonna to need to do that is a pick of some sort or a razor blade or some type of tweezers to modify the plugs that come with the receiver. You're also gonna need a USB plug like so. Now, uh, this is gonna plug into the back of your transmitter because we need to get the firmware onto the transmitter. If you don't have one of these plugs, you may have a GoPro which has a micro SD card and if you buy a micro SD card they usually come with these adapters or if your computer will accept a micro SD card somehow we need to get the data from the computer onto the Tyrannus. So that's what we're going to start off with first. Now if you use an adapter or the micro SD card if you pull off the battery cover on the back you can see down inside of there there's a micro SD card in there. Now that's all we need to get access to so you can pull that out put it in the adapter plug it in the computer or plug that straight in your computer. The other thing that's important is you can see I'm still running in the stock battery if you're running a three cell lipo uh, which is a popular mod um, you run the risk of damaging your receiver because you're going to be putting too much um, you have the possibility of putting too much voltage through it so make sure you're using um, just a stock battery or a two cell or something um, so that we're not going to um, send too much voltage into our receiver in front of that now um, so the first thing we're going to do, if you go into Google and uh, Google FR Sky, it's going to open up here. We're going to need to open up the frsky-rc.com website. This is going to open up, and we're going to come up here into the Download tab. And we're going to scroll down to our receivers right here, and we've got the RSXR. So we're going to down, we're going to open this, and this is going to come up with this page here. Come into our firmware. Now you can see our current firmware is of uh, March of 2019, which is 190311. I'm just going to download this, and it's going to come into my folder, and I'm going to extract and extract. Now there's two different versions. There's the FCC and the LBT. If you're in the US, we're going to use this FCC file. If it's international, it's going to be the LBT here. So I don't really care about this one. All I'm going to be using is this FCC file. Now we need to get this onto our Tyrannus. So we already talked about the SD card, but instead I'm going to be using the, SB, the uh, USB cable. I'm going to plug this in and to to enter this, we're going to actually have to boot the Tyrannus up in a bootloader mode. I'm going to hold both trim switches in as I power it on. And that's going to enter us into the bootloader screen here. And now I can just plug in my USB cable into the back. It's going to say USB connected. And if you look at the computer, it's going to pull up our removable disk here, which is our Tyrannus. I'm going to open, a, open the view the files. And the folder that we need is firmware right here. I don't need that one there. So here's our download and here's our firmware. I'm going to take my FCC file and copy the firmware. That's going to copy over. And now I've got the firmware for our receiver loaded into our transmitter. And I can go ahead and eject my Tyrannus safe to remove hardware. Mm -hmm. So I don't need this. I can go ahead and Welcome to out of that. TX and close it. So now we've got the current firmware into here. Now we need to load this into our receiver. So when we open our receiver, there's going to be a couple of cables in there. So this is the cable we're actually going to use to connect it to our quad later. So we'll set this aside. This is the cable we're actually going to use to transmit the data and flash this onto our receiver, which is right here. So there is a small caveat though. We're going to have to modify that cable a little bit. So if we pull open our module on the Tranus, I've already marked this to make sure that I don't forget, but I've got these one, two, and three bottom pins. We're not going to use these top two, but I've got my A for antenna or signal, and then a ground, and then a positive. So signal, ground, positive. Now if we look at our plug here, our plug this is going to come signal, positive, and ground. So we actually need to swap these two over so that we can uh, plug this in. And all I'm going to do 
is, let's see if I can show this to you guys. I'm going to grab onto the cable. And then I'm just going to lift this tab up very carefully without trying to break it. And very carefully pull that out. So now I've got our positive out. And let's see if we can pull out our negative lead here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lift up that plastic tab and pull out our negative lead. So we need ground. And I'm going to plug our negative back into the second port here. And our positive into this far port. And they'll kind of click in. Need to push these tabs down a little bit, make sure they get held in there nice and tight. So now we have modified our cable with signal, ground, and positive. So that's all we need to do as far as modifying to get this done. Now before we power up our radio, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And again, just so you can get a look at this, we're doing signal, ground, and positive. So double check this because if this is backwards or wrong or we're on the pins, we can fry or block up our receiver and completely trash 20 bucks. Um, so always want to make sure and double check all this. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in my transmitter to my receiver. And let's see, make sure we get this in the wrong way so I don't break anything, which is going to go like so. All right, so we've got everything plugged in like we need. And now we can go ahead and turn on our transmitter. Welcome to OpenTX. Now we're going to need to push and hold the menu button. And this is going to take us into radio setup. We're going to page. This is going to take us into our SD card. We're going to push down and go into our firmware. And then now you can see that firmware we just loaded on. I'm going to go down and I'm going to push and hold enter and this is going to say flash internal module flash external module so we want the external module since we've got it plugged into the back where our external module normally goes and I'm just going to push enter and it's now writing so this is writing our current firmware onto our receiver through the back so you can see it's now powered up and blinking now be very careful don't disconnect don't touch it don't even breathe don't even look at it uh, this needs to take a couple of minutes, and this is going to write our new firmware on, and if we disrupt this, uh, I don't really know. It's probably not recoverable, I'd imagine. I'm not really sure. I'm assuming it's erasing first, and then writing. Who knows? So don't even mess with it. Let's just wait for it and see what happens. So here we come, finished, done. Everything's come back and we're back to this page again. And you can see on the back here, our receiver is now powered down. We flashed the current firmware. So back it all the way up to the main page. We're done. We can power this off, disconnect everything out of the back. And we have now flashed the current firmware onto our RSXR. So this is ready to go, ready to install on the quad and save this cable even though there's one that comes with a new receiver. Hold on to this because we've already modified this that way we won't have to do it again in the future. I hope this helps some of you guys and uh, stay safe out there, have fun flying. We'll see you next time.